Hello, I'm Lisa Hockensmith for Tire Business, and this is Tuesday out at the SEMA Show. Elsewhere today is better known as Election Day, but here in the Las Vegas Convention Center, it's day one of SEMA. The day kicked off at the Tire Industry Association's Breakfast with the President. Two dealers were inducted into the Tire Industry Hall of Fame, and two others were inducted as historical contributors. Larry Morgan, a former TIA president, was chosen for his four decades of service to the industry. He turned Donaldson Tire into a 600-store chain before selling it to Bridgestone Firestone. During the breakfast, Mr. Morgan thanked many people who helped him along the way. There is nothing greater than to be acknowledged by people you respect. And to me, those people are my peers in this great industry. Thanks to all of you. Terry Westhaver also was inducted into the Hall of Fame. He's president and general manager of Central Tire in Virginia. He's a former president of the American Retreaders Association and was active in the International Tire and Rubber Association. TIA named former Michelin Managing Director Francois Michelin and Joe Esco of Esco Tire as historical contributors to the industry. Mr. Michelin thanked the people involved with the French tire maker, and he also advised everyone to keep focus as they do business. Robert Puiseux, qui ont su maintenir et développer l'esprit de la maison, c'est-à-dire le respect des hommes, des gens au travail, le respect de la matière, le respect des clients, évidemment, leur écoute attentive, et qui ont su donner à l'argent sa vraie valeur, qui est le service des hommes à travers les produits que nous fabriquons. Dès que l'argent quitte son service humain fondamental, on a des catastrophes. C'est ce qui s'est passé aujourd'hui. Finally today, Cooper announced that it signed a joint development agreement with Resilient Technologies to produce an airless military tire prototype. The tire would have an open honeycomb casing without a sidewall. The honeycomb design would let bullets and shrapnel move through the tire without disabling the vehicle. Cooper said the tire would still run even with a large portion of the honeycomb cells damaged. The U.S. Army should be using the tire by 2011. That's it for today. I'll see you back here tomorrow.